2019 Hyundai Veloster. Overview, first introduced in 2011 at the Detroit Auto Show, the Hyundai Veloster initially hit the scene as a replacement for the Hyundai Tiguan, the FWD2 Plus 2 coupe built between 1996 and 2008. By contrast, the Veloster changed it up with a funky hatchback profile and 2 plus 1 door layout, 1 on the driver's side, 2 on the passenger's side. In a segment filled to the brim with hard-hitting, well-established competition, the Veloster is a bit of an upstart, shaking things up with a unique attitude that still manages to make fun behind the wheel a top priority. Throughout its life cycle, we've seen a wide variety of custom takes on the Veloster, but now, Hyundai is offering up a whole new second generation. Once again making its debuts at the Detroit Auto Show, the latest 2019 model year brings with it a variety of models and trim levels, including the base model, and the mid-grade turbo and R-spec models. There's even a go-faster inversion if that happens to be more your speed, check out our full review on the 2019 Hyundai Veloster N. Just as it was before, the new Veloster once again aims at catching the eye of enthusiasts, with a focus on making the whole package more engaging both in terms of aesthetics and in terms of the driving experience. The latest model year also comes with a good bit upgraded infotainment stuff as well. While the 2019 Hyundai Veloster looks newer and sharper than the model that came before it, the styling basics are more or less unchanged. For example, it still offers an asymmetric two-door hatchback body style with a subtle third door added to the passenger side. Think of it kinda like a two-plus-one body style, with a two-plus-two interior. However, to help it look and feel like the second generation that it is, Hyundai decided to pen up a new design, employing a joint effort between Hyundai's designers in Irvine, California, and its designers in Seoul, South Korea. The end result is more aggressive and head-turning than the first-gen model, so let's dive into the specifics. With the exterior of the Veloster looking a good deal sharper this time around, the interior also gets a redesign that makes it a lot more desirable. While the older model's 2 plus 2 seating layout is retained, the dash now employs a complementary asymmetric design that emphasizes the driver's position by placing additional buttons closer to that side of the cockpit. The steering wheel was updated, and now looks smaller and a bit oblong thanks to a much shorter center spoke and lower center line. There's still nice hand bolsters at the 10 and 2 o'clock positions, and the air vents are horizontal, rather than vertical like the first gen. The center console is also more horizontal now and no longer set in a V-shape like the outgoing model. There's a two-tier button scheme, with the lower half employed for the climate control and upper portion used for infotainment. The infotainment screen is placed in an upright position on the top of the dash. The gauges look new as well, with a slick checkered background enhancing the car's sporting intentions.